today we will learn double bar graph let us understand the double bar graph with the help of an interesting example today the number of boys and girls admitted to class 8 in different years in a school is presented in this table below can we represent these figures as a bar graph think think let me tell you here we can draw different bar graphs for the number of boys and girls but it will be difficult to obtain information from these for example it would be difficult to know which year had the largest difference in the number of boys and girls it will also be difficult to determine which year the total number of class 8 was highest in such a situation a double bar graph is helpful in this we represent two sets of data on the same graph as pair of bars in the pair of bars one bar represent one group of data and other bar represent another group of data let us know how this double bar graph was drawn for the given data step 1 on paper we will draw two mutually perpendicular lines year on x axis and number of students in class 8 on the y axis step 2 for our convenience we will choose a convenient scale like here we can take one unit is equal to 20 students according to the scale we will show numbers on the y axis step 3 for showing the number of boys we will take color of bars like this and for showing number of girls we will take bars of this color step 4 now we will represent the data as a pair of bars to show that there were 60 boys and 80 girls in class 8 in 2007 we would draw the bar representing number of boys 60 and with this also and draw the bars representing number of girls 80 similarly we will represent the data of all the years in the form of double bar graph remember that we will keep the width of the bar equal and the distance between the pairs of bars will also be same in this way we will get a double bar graph now if you want to find out which year had the largest difference in the number of boys and girls then by looking at the lengths of the bar we can easily tell that difference in number of boys and girls was largest in 2007 similarly we can also get different information thus in a double bar graph two different types of data are represented as pair of bars so that the two sets of data can be compared the same scale is used for both figures like the bar graph the double bar graph can also be drawn horizontally or vertically we will understand more about this in the next video today we have learned the double bar graph and how to draw it in the next video we will see some interesting examples related to this